time, Jordan DeLuciano for the second half of our Creative Pro Wrestling's Great Heights show. And we got a very interesting one for you right now. It's J. George Cinematic Massacre, Ladies the match, the movie. This is J. George's Cinematic Massacre, the match, the movie. This is the room in real life. First, a company to the ring by Lenny and TG3, hailing from Newbridge Studios by way of Thunder Bay, filming at 24 frames per second. This is J. George. J. George recently on Cap TV, ambushing Bobby Orlando after he had a match against. Lenny and TG3, and then despicably hanging Bobby Jr. Yeah, Jay George, one of my favorite wrestlers, but he's my favorite because he's a sick individual and he's, you know, messing with one of my partners, Bobby Orlando. So I'm down the middle in this match, but I, I love both these guys, and you never know what Jay George is going to do, just like you never know what Bobby Orlando is going to do. So, uh, so you're saying you're a tweener in this case? Sure am. You are the tweener. That's right. Yeah, like Dan Barry said before, um, uh, we have a, a real life movie about to partake in front of our very eyes right now. As here goes Bobby Orlando, accompanied by Bobby Jr. Opponent, accompanied to the ring by Bobby Jr. Hailing from Intercourse, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 202 pounds. He is the goatest of all time, Bobby. Taking the red carpet down the aisle is Bobby Orlando. He is your mom. Bobby Jr., watch out. Standing guard, making sure there's no more run-ins in this match. Oh, that's, ugh, he should get tested. Hey, Bobby Orlando, he goes off top turnbuckles at the tables. He's been in the, the, the worst matches you can imagine. He's taking on the worst fall, so I don't think uh, CM Punk kid's got nothing on some uh, of the he, he, he should wash his place. Oh, but Bob's got a kendo stick yes. in hand. He's up against J. George and the, the film crew, TG3. And, and Lenny, oh, Lenny right off the bat. TG3 getting involved as he's taking a beating right now. <laughs> and you see J. George just calmly stepping out of the ring, and now he's, he's on the run. And yeah, this goes back to last cap show when we were alive. Uh, there was an interview in the ring between J. George and Bobby Orlando. Yeah, Jay George and company jumped Bobby Orlando and then set up an impromptu match with Vargas. That carried into Cap TV, and then here we are on this April 8th night. Well, RIP Chandelier as Jay George now on the hey, defense. We're doing director's time commentary with your mom, Bobby Orlando. <laughs> All right, we're going to say quiet. Right over here. Ooh, Bob with the shot. Jay George, he took a pretty nasty punch to the face. Should I give him another one? Yeah. Oh. Still rocking the glasses. There he goes! So this will be a, a movie played so in front of our own eyes. So like, hey, going to see a lot of characteristic stuff as Jay George from behind. Was that 3D? Like that, at this point right here, you cheer me right now for this scene. The cinematic working. massacre, the match, the movie. As J. George, where is he going? Oh, he hit a, a pipe in the truss? What does he have there? Small move there, but it gets used right on him. As now Bobby Orlando teeing off, now takes a cane and just throws it at him. You think they'll make the way over here? We got a lot of equipment over here. Is he going to return that cane to sender? I, I feel like that's somebody's actual walking apparatus. Oh, is he going to roll him in the red carpet? Ooh. J. George getting the red carpet treatment he uh, always wanted and probably deserves. He's a hero. I need a hero. And back in the ring they go. He's got, I don't know what they call that in cinema. Uh, megaphone. Megaphone, yeah, right? So I shouldn't know that. <laughs> megaphone used to scream right in the air, and the chair is still intact. First eardrum. Here we go. Uh -oh. right, here we go. Crowd fully behind Bobby Orlando here. He's got to chop his arm with that thing. He had, or yeah, there you go. Chop oh, his the fingers. fingers. There you go. Oh. Chop the fingers. 
Clever. Bob, watch your back. Clever girl. And TG3 oh. with Jeez. the Claymore, the, one of the most devastating moves in all professional wrestling. Into the cover, and out goes Bobby Orlando. He has hit Bobby right in the, right in the stomach there. J. George taking advantage. Obviously, the numbers game in J. George's favor. You have, obviously, Bryce, who just wrestled before the intermission, not available to be ringside with Bobby. Me, same situation. I can't be out there today. Because you can't be out on Friday. Correct. It's true. I don't want to mess with that stuff. Uh, but J. George. Hard Irish whip. Flying back first goes Bobby Orlando. And with the assist of the film crew, like always, J. George back in control. Ooh, a trash can being brought into the ring. Oh, here we go. So you've seen a lot of the movie props being used, but then a lot of uh, extra uh, outside stuff, such as the kendo stick, and now the trash can. Oh, if he goes for a coast to coast, I will die. Ooh, Lenny holding it in place for J. George. A oh, good uh, PA. Oh. Dead Barry, he is. Oh, Lord. That's the thing about movies, you can get actors from New York to L.A. Coast to coast. You don't, don't want to hit your head. Oh. oh. Better get a stuntman out here. What's he? Going back underneath. They got Bobby Orlando sitting there all day because Lenny's holding him there with the trash can. J. George apparently lost when he is hidden. Oh, he has a stunt double. What? The, he just pulled that guy out from underneath the ring? How long has he been there? He what really has a stunt double. Has he been there the whole show? <laughs> Did I call that a what, Oh, guys? my God. I've never seen this one before. He pulled the stunt double from underneath the ring, looking to go coast to coast. A little wobbly on that J. top rope. J. George really holding him up. <laughs> and oh! he home, but the trash can off the face. All right, well, the stunt double. Thanks for coming, stunt oh. double. But then the trash can off the dome. Cover, G. George, out at two. Using the distraction of the stunt double to be able to get the other attack on him. Smart play, J. George. Oof. I think he got the film reel there, right there. Yeah, he does. So what's that's, he, what's that's he my whole movie. This? That's my whole movie. What's he doing with that? Well, I guess it's going to be oh. destroyed now. Oh, now oh the there we go. And now Dan Barry's whole movie going into the mouth and nose of Bobby Orlando. A lot of tasteful nudes on that. Yeah, a lot of content on that film reel. Oh, snap. Someone said they're going straight to DVD. As you take a look at this replay, as the stunt double tries to go coast to coast, they have bit off too much time here. Watch this Hadouken with a garbage bag. Bobby Orlando playing Duke. possibly. Oh. No, we cut it the worst Psych. time. Psych. April Fools. Well, Jay George in the uh, ring with the chair, now having his way with Bobby Orlando. And it looks like we're going to have an inside the actor's studio here. This is how it started off last show. Just a peaceful one guy in a chair, another guy in a chair conversation. And now here we are in the cinematic massacre, the match, the movie. As Bobby pops out with a shot and a chop across the chest. Oof. Oh, Bob! Oh, my. oh over the chair! Oh, back of his neck on the breaks oh. through the chair and kicks out. The back of his neck hit off the back of that chair, and I gotta be honest, that was terrifying to watch. Yeah, but, I, I, I've seen Bobby go through tons of chairs, and that one did not really budge. <laughs> that chair didn't give a shit about Bobby Orlando. Oh, oh good Lord, the chair. Is. We got it that time. But Bobby's sticking around for more. And now, what does J. George have at ringside? It looks like just an extension cord. Uh, I don't know where he's going to plug that in, but Bob better cover up. Oh, and that, that's what he hung Bobby Jr. with. The same Oh, cord. my God. It's coming back to haunt Bobby now. He made it a noose? Oh, no, 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 no. no. stick the plug in his mouth. First the high, the, the, the tape reel, but over the top rope goes J. George, getting hung up by his own cord right now. Whoa, 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 J. George now. With the up. film reel, too. The passion of the J. George. And now J. George is all tied up. And J. George is gonna just brace He's for ready. impact. He's, He's got ready. nowhere to go. Ooh. Punch down on those teeth as Bobby Orlando's going to tee off. Oh, he's done. 
<laughs> Great Good. job there by Bobby. Swinging lefty, it doesn't matter. Jay is George it? is reeling. Hey, that's a good line. Hey, thank you. As Jay George trying to get back on the offense, and a cutter from the top rope. Down goes Jay George into the cover. Bobby Orlando, not to be. Jay George out at two. Got to give credit to Jay George here, being able to get out of that cutter after being abused with a kendo stick. So Bob now turning his attention to Lenny. Oh, Undertaker spot. Oh. Choke slam onto TG3. That will keep the film crew at bay for oh. now. But Jay George shot out of a cannon out of the corner. Running left punch right to the dome. Yeah. Uh, so what's he got in here? Yeah, what, what's in this bag of tricks? Bag right of now? tapes? It looks like tapes. Jay George. Oh no, he's getting. Oh, he's got that VHS. VHS? <laughs> Outdated format. Yeah. yeah. Might as well bump on him. Yeah, we've seen guys get slammed on the nails. We recently got uh, thumbtacks, recently mousetrap, and now VHS tapes. But what else would you expect from this match? As now, looking for the Bobby's plan, slam to Jay George, will taste of his own medicine, but a kick to the gut derails that. Uh -oh. Whoa! Bob sends him back to the corner. Bobby does not want to land on those tapes. You know, this is a tough match to be in. You never know what's going to happen. You got weapons everywhere. This is Jay George's brainchild, and Bob has stepped into this arena knowing that. And, uh, well. Oh, what could be going for here? A superplex of sorts? Yeah, he's looking for a superplex. Oh, no. Onto the VHS tapes. There's not a lot of space on the ceiling. Be 30 years old. Oh, Jay George gets out of it. Tape the, oh, and there's the VHS yes. off the skull, <laughs> and then crashes down below. That cannot feel good. Not the fall you're looking for if you're the goatest of all time. As Jay George looks to put the finishing oh. touches on his massacre. Yeah, Jay George. Brain kick. And no. Oh. <laughs> Thought that was it. Jay George in disbelief. Let's go, Bob. Eyes roll to the back Come of on. his head. He's twitching out. I know that's your boy, but he just got kicked in the face by Jay George with Jesus watching on. Well, the crowd looking to wake Bobby up after that. You're going to need those little shock paddles to wake him up after that. I don't know. This is the kind of match I can never be in. You, you never know. Look, what, what's he got? It's a green screen? <laughs> it's, it's a, a green, green screen? screen? Yeah. What is, Jay George has pretty much just pillaged his own film studio yep. for this match. Newbert Studios is not going to be happy about this. And it's a movie come to life. And Jay George is really living up to that moniker. He's looking for another crane kick. Yeah, that crane kick again. Just keeps Bobby flat on the mat. He wants to. Jay George Ooh. looking for another angle on this with his cameraman in the ring. Another cameraman. Oh, oh what, what the hell? <laughs> He's attacking the cameraman. That's his own guy. Yeah, we've seen Jay George um, attack his film crew before. So it's not something new. He creates a hostile work environment for his production staff. Especially with that outdated camera. Yeah. yeah look at that Stone Age material. It looks like one of those talkbacks from Home Alone. Think about the shoulder problems those guys must have. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Bobby Orlando. Looking for a Bobby driver here. Oh! The table, or should I say the green screen? Oh. <laughs> Bent in half, Bobby for the win. He got him. Here is your winner, Bobby Orlando. Good job, Bobby Orlando, the goatest of all time. It was the Goat Valley driver through that green screen that got Bobby the win in J. George's own match. We watch it again. Watch it of force as he lands on his own head. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, he might be the most insane wrestler I know. I love him. He's, he's willing to do anything. Setting his own body weight on top of Jay George through the green screen and Bobby standing tall with that camcorder. I don't know if he's won it or he wants it even. Is that oh. thing even on? Wait, that also is my camcorder. Oh, the crowd saying, that's my mom. 
Bobby Orlando is your mom, remember that. He's all of our moms. The film crew stumbles away in defeat. J. George's cinematic massacre turns into a cinematic disaster as Bobby Orlando finally gets the upper hand. And uh, is the sweeper guy okay? No, I think from the he's board? dead. I think he's been. Yeah, we're gonna need more, we're, not, we're gonna need more than one sweeper guy. I don't think anyone wants to be a sweeper. Oh, look at this. Bug and mittens. And we got another. We got another two matches, but we have an absolute uh, uh, disaster in the ring. What a great soundtrack. Though.